Well, is your diet driving your blood sugar crazy? Yeah, November is National Diabetes Month, and our registered dietitian, Lisa G, is here to talk about how you can keep your blood sugar in tip top shape. And it does, blood sugar makes a big difference for people. It really does. And one thing I find being in the field for a long time is there's a lot of misunderstandings on how to control your blood sugar. And in fact, my experience has been many folks don't even get the necessary information they need. And right. this is a topic that's really personal to me. My brother has type 1 diabetes. My dad yeah. has type 2 diabetes for, gosh, 20 years now. Yeah. So it's why I went in this field, because oh, okay. people need this information. Right. And so one thing I think that's a misunderstanding is when you're diagnosed, there are things we can do to get your blood sugar down. And I'm all about prevention. So let's talk oh, about yeah, yeah. eating to prevent it. Right, instead of the medications. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. just do things like, you know, forward thinking. So let's start with a typical day and look at what, what I would call a high sugar typical day. This is a kind of a standard American you know, day right here. Right. So we start in the morning and we have a bowl of cereal with some coffee with some of the sweetened creamer, okay? Mm -hmm. And that day right, that between the, um, the uh, creamer and the cereal, you're looking at about 60 some carbs right there. Okay. And now when you don't know carb counting, no this doesn't mean anything, but that's a good dose of carbohydrate for someone right. who has What's blood sugar. Right, what's the daily intake of carbs it, you should it have? It really varies for each person, but for someone living with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, I wouldn't recommend that much. So you're already starting the day off higher with your blood sugar. Okay. Then we go on to lunch and we have pretzels and a sandwich, about 60 carbs right there. Then we have snacks throughout the day, maybe some crackers, a banana. So one thing here I want to point out is, you know, people think about sugar being bad, which is true, okay, but all carbohydrates you have to think about. So even it eventually fruit, turns into sugar. Yes, all carbohydrates turn to blood sugar. So fruit isn't a bad food, but it does contain carbs. We need to think about that. So it still counts to your daily it count. It still right. affects your blood sugar. And then, you know, like maybe a little brownie. This little brownie at night here, you know, you mm -hmm. get a little brownie. This little stinking brownie has 40 carbs. Yeah. That's a lot of carbohydrates. That little stinking brownie. That little yeah. stinking brownie isn't worth the blood who sugar. Who likes that well, little stinking? Well, if I eat stinkin'. half of it's only 20, so. We well, who we eats half of that, Rob? We can work out a deal. I'm just saying you eat half of it, and it'll all work out. Then we have a good old pasta here, and pasta is a dubious one. It's mm -hmm. loaded with carbohydrates. So two cups of pasta is 80 carbohydrates. Yeesh. That's a lot. That's more than some of my folks are doing for the whole day to control their blood sugar. Right. So, and notoriously, um, spaghetti sauce may have more sugar than cookies. So this stinking spaghetti sauce, for a cup of it, it has 28 carbs. So I could just get yeah. rid of the spaghetti and eat the cookies. No. Well, I'm okay. okay. I'm kidding, so that, you're that right. Day you just ends need up to realize what's right, in right. it. Where it's in. So that day is 315 carbohydrates, which is the equivalent of 21 slices of bread. Whoa. Okay. Like so strong. when we're talking about carb counting, I wow. said there's 315 grams of carb in here. That's the equivalent of 21 slices of bread. Now, are you burning that off? No, no. I'm not. And is that helping your blood sugar? No, no. it's not. Could you so, imagine eating like basically an entire loaf of bread? That's if, one slice short of the loaf of bread I bought. Wow. Okay. okay. So not then good. let's move on. What's a day that's going to make mm. your blood sugars do the happy dance? Okay, that's what we want. Okay. So let's start off the morning with a beautiful omelet with whatever vegetables you care for. Here I got mushrooms and spinach. Two carbs in the whole omelet. Okay? okay. Great. You can still have your coffee in the morning, but let's switch up our milk. An unsweetened milk, cashew milk is really creamy if you've never tried it in the nut milk arena. Or okay. And you milk, almond things. milk, and you can use a stevia-based sweetener. Okay. So okay. now we cut out all that sugar from the uh, liquid creamer. Mm -hmm. Moving on to lunch, you want a sandwich, sandwich is no problem. You could do a lettuce roll up. So you take your lettuce leaf, you put your, your ham or turkey, whatever you're doing. It's an which. On which. And they're super easy and portable. So you have them in your little uh, aluminum foil so here. So it takes planning. And you just wrap that puppy up and then you're good to go. Then you have it when you want to eat it at lunchtime. So you can mm -hmm. totally pack these with some vegetables. This whole lunch with the hummus is 12 carbs. Oh, compared wow. to terrific. 60 and that carbs. much and that much hummus how much hummus am i going to be two eating two tablespoons two so, tablespoons so you know of if you had more you know we're Chris talking it's peppers. a big harm reduction yeah got to watch serving sizes too though yeah. every time we move over to dinner so what do we do we want pasta so there's a couple options we could swap it out with spaghetti uh, squash yeah there's only 5 carbs per cup of spaghetti squash mm -hmm. so this whole dish right here is and 10 it looks carbs like noodles. 10 carbs compared to 80 carbs mm -hmm. Read your labels when you're at the grocery store, look on the back, and you're going to look where it says total carbohydrate. That's how right. I'm determining this is a less carb. So this has significantly less carbohydrate than the other one. Just because of the sugar that's been added to right. this one. Mm -hmm. Some okay. pumping full of sugar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then you have snacks. So some almonds and some mm. strawberries are low, uh, lower carbohydrate snacks. And then let's talk about desserts, because I love chocolate like Me everybody. Too. Yep. And so we remember we had this dinky little or brownie. 
Yes, yeah, stinky Stinker. little brownie, Stinky I think is what you called it. Stinking so little then we have a chocolate bar, love of my life. And it says <laughs> half a bar is 15 carbs. So this dark chocolate. Oh, this I is bet, dark right? chocolate. Oh, it's broken. It might broken mean we have to eat it because you yeah, can't I mean, take it home. You're talking, you're this getting a large too. amount of chocolate uh -huh. for 15 carbs when you started with 40, roughly. Right. It so, made, those are smart switches. Huge difference. So, what I did is I have a little bonus for you. I have on my website today a sugar shocker guide. It tells you behind the scenes where the sugar is hidden. Okay. It's on the bottom of my homepage on Your Tasty Life, you can check that out. But really, I want to empower you to start reading those labels, look at that carbohydrate content if we're trying to control or reverse whatever word we want to use, yeah. our blood sugar. I am so with you. I'm telling you, I'm taking you on. During this whole mm -hmm. Nicole's <laughs> maternity leave, I am going to drop 10 pounds. Oh, oh, right. I got to do it's it. And challenge. you're going to be my coach. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't want to learn about these things here, these black oh, bean Oh, and those, Rob, I didn't mention those. Those are another alternative. These are newer, newer to the market. They're black bean uh, spaghetti. So they're made from black beans. Okay. And Five there's much less carbohydrate in these. And it's than already done. It's already, you cook so them like you would. Taking yep. the squash. Look, they look through. like real yep. noodles. They look like real noodles. You cook them like real noodles, and there's way less carbohydrate in these. There's 15 carbs yeah. in a serving compared That's to 40 low. carbs. <sighs> so just swaps. Swap, Open swap, up swaps. your eyes. Smart eating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can handle it. So you can totally you can do eat it. the chocolate, right? Yeah, and right. Hey, that's how we get the reward. Then. One, we get our one more bite. Exactly. We're good to go. Thank Sweet. you, Lisa. Thank Great you. info. Thank you. Indeed. We'll uh, eat all the stuff she brought, and then we'll be back with more show.